worst of all. He could be any one of us. He could be in this very room. He could be you. He could be me. He could even be... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, what? It was obvious! He's the... Fucking imitator. Welcome to a video on how to get good at the imitator. The one plant whose existence and perks are that prominent that he is essentially almost mandatory if you want to achieve high round games, as well as pull off some of the most brain powering strategies known to man. Let's get started. The imitator is a plant not unlocked through normal means and must be purchased through Crazy Dave's store. It is fucking expensive, at a grand total of $30,000. Which by that point, if I'm paying that much for a fucking plant, I'm expecting my mortgage and taxes to be paid at this rate. Anyway, once you purchase the imitator, you can then get to using what I would personally consider to be the best plant in the game. The imitator, as hinted at by its name, basically allows you to take a duplicate of any plant of your choosing, minus upgrade plants. This doesn't seem like much, but think about it. Being able to have two of any plant on standby is a lot more powerful than you may think. For example, on a nighttime level when you're just starting out and have fuck all sun to your name, having two puff shrooms at your disposal can allow you to very quickly build up a line of defense. In fact as shown here, you can have almost three full lanes of puff shrooms before the second zombie even shows up, which goes to show that already, imitator is proving his weight. However, where the imitator truly shines, is when you make it duplicate a plant that suffers from a long recharge time, such as walnuts, or more commonly, instant use plants like cherry bomb or squash. Having a copy of these will allow you to very easily dispose batches of zombies very quickly, as well as open a much larger window of usage. For if you decide to be a fucking idiot, and mess up your placement, this makes the imitator best used for plants like cherry bomb, squash, doom shroom, so on and so forth. One of my particular favorite strategies is a double potato mine. Normally, one potato mine can last you for the first two or three zombies, but with this strategy, you can focus on getting your sun economy up to batshit insane levels within the first few minutes of the game, and you'll be able to rack up enough sun to build some late game defenses later on down the line. Now all of this makes Imitator sound overpowered as shit, and honestly, he really is. However, there is one factor that must be taken into consideration consideration when using this grayscale potato, and that is the transformation delay. Upon being planted, the imitator takes roughly 3 seconds to transform into the plant that it's copying. This sounds small on paper, but in practice, those 3 seconds can actually mean that having to use it on short notice can be detrimental, as it may not get the transformation off and be eaten in the process. So if you're using something like an instant plant for example, make sure to plant it with the 3 second delay in mind when using this Frenchy heap of shit. Additionally, although relatively minor considering how much power he brings, he does cause the same plant to occupy another slot, which depending on which version you're playing on, can be quite the hindrance if you need certain plants to deal with certain zombies. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of cycling through what is normally a plant you barely can use, and set up defenses extremely quick during the initial setup phase. Be sure to come back for the next episode next week. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.